Hi everyone. Look what's arrived. My deco art box with the pouring medium, the clear pouring top coat, and some sample paints for me to trial these out. I was so excited when I was contacted by Deco Art to try these out. Um, and it's taken this long to get here, so I'm very excited. I was very, very keen to see how they go. So I've got the Deco Art Americana uh, Primary Red. And what's this? Uh, it says Snow Titanium White. What else? What else? Two more. Oh! The festive green. And, oh, primary yellow. So, let me just have a look at those. All right. Well, let's move this out of the way. Okay. So this lovely bit of information down here uh, explains if you have seen other YouTube creators uh, do their trials and experience what this is like already, um, you'll know from those videos that they also send some information. This is about what's included in the pack, so that was lovely. Thank you very much. And they've got this leaflet that shows how to mix the pouring medium and gives examples of two ways of doing an acrylic pour. And then the example of finishing off with the top coat. So, yeah, that's everything that was in the box. It's a little bit exciting when they contacted me. Um... Then gave reference to the string dip technique. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's one of the things I'm going to do, I should say. And this is the craft paint. So it's going to be uh, in here. If I can not have the shine on it. Down here, one part paint one part medium so that's how we'll mix it and I'll get everything ready and I'll be right back with you okay so I tried to zoom in a little bit more for you what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little like they're kind of sauce containers and I'm not going to measure it or weigh it because even when I do my general things, I eyeball it. So that's what I'm going to go with, because that's what I would normally do. So what I noticed here was the the wide mouth on the jar and normally the previous ones have had that squirt top um, so that's a little difference in this one so now we'll just see how they mix in and after I've completed this one I will mix in the other colors ready to go It looks gorgeous. It's just as rich as the green was prior to adding the pouring medium. But what's happened over the time that I've mixed all of the paints, which you can see just there. Oh my gosh, I never realized before that they were like traffic lights. <laughs> That's awesome. 
um, they did thicken up a little in the time it took to mix all of the paints. So now it is maybe slightly thicker than I would normally. So I placed the strings into the paint so they've been soaking. Now a great way to really test out uh, the pouring medium and the how how well it dries um, that it doesn't crack or anything like that is to use a lot of paint now each of these first strings that come out of the paint pots will be heavily loaded with the paints and the second I'm not going to re-dip it, so this is going to be like a string dip double. Um, the first string, as you can see on the canvas, is very heavy, not many streaks within it, but a lot of paint. The second string is more like how I would have my string in general where it leaves um, the streaks because there is less paint on the string. I hope that made sense. <laughs> so with this red one again, it is loaded up with paint. I didn't scrape any off on the side of the container. And you can see that it's very, very thick. Now to lay down that second one without re-dipping it and you can already see there that it's got the streaks through it so there you go okay so what I'm doing there is I'm just squeezing out the paint off my wool and um, re-dipping it into the container so that I don't do much contamination um, when I put it back in the pots. So. Now for the yellow, as you can see it is so loaded up with paint that it was just dripping off. So, but so far we're just playing with the paints and pulling the strings through. I'm really loving it, like I'm quite a fan. The big test will just be to see how it dries. I just felt like I would add an extra yellow one here. So this same string is being used for a third time. Let's just have a close up and see how that looks. You can see there, uh, because we're a bit closer up, the thickness of the paint from the very first use compared to the second use of the same string. So I decided that I just wanted to mix up an orange using the the paints and throw an extra color in there it's i'm finding it of like a very spring like flowers spring colors and bright and vibrant and so i thought the orange would really like help bring that out so the first string once again fully loaded with paint that's really going to test out whether that pouring medium mixture is not going to crack in the heavy, thicker sections. So 
So for now I just feel that I will add back in some more greenery at the front because uh, generally what you see is a lot of greenery around these beautiful flowers like a flowery garden there's a lot of green around that so fill in some gaps with a bit of green and then I will set it aside to dry and we'll see how it goes So here's an even closer look for you, all completed and ready to put aside to dry. But again, you can see close up the thickness of certain ones compared to the streakiness of the others. So, and that orange, I'm really thrilled how that just added to the whole picture just by adding that so um, there are a lot of lumps and bumps it's create the string dip technique pull um, it does add that extra texture of rises and dips Alrighty, so look, it's all dry and I have to say I'm really happy with the colours, um, with how it all looks, but I actually had no doubt that the Americana paints wouldn't be amazing. I, I was completely thrilled to be using those, but what we're actually playing with and checking out is the Deco Art Pouring Medium. So let's have a look at that. Uh, what you can see, when I tilt this up and get the reflection from the window, you can see in that middle yellow one, in that green one, raised edges or sections where the paint was extra thick as you draw that string down and the paint pulls and creates heavy heavy sections that have a lot of paint in them. So also down the bottom here, if I don't think I can get those ones, but the reflections working best from the things at the top. So yes, yeah, so the what you can see is fantastic results. Like there's no no crack cracking um from having the paint too thick or having certain areas dry on top and the underneath wasn't dry or anything it is amazing i love it um this painting only took 24 hours to dry which is very quick for what we've been having at the moment our seasons are changing we're heading into winter and the temperature has cooled down and so some of my paintings have been taking anywhere up to four days five even for some um, to dry so to have this one dry within 24 hours with those thick sections and no no uh, damage, that's not the right word, but no cracking or anything that I can think of. It's 
amazing. It's beautiful. I'm very, very happy with these particular results. So there we go. Big shot. But what I'm going to do now is I'll edit all this together and I will come back with another video for you as well. But so far, Deco Art Pouring Medium, pretty swanky. All right. Thank you, everybody. And I'll be back with you again real soon. Be fabulous.